I seen recently uh you, you put something that was real powerful up on social media, uh the contract thing. Yeah. What what did that mean to you? Man, um well I mean just you know, you know, I saw a lot of people speaking on that too, like it was like, oh, you know, he left good music or whatever the case may be. Like, that's not the case. What 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 that was was basically Kanye uh, forfeiting all of his profits from my whole catalog, back catalog to now to me. That was and and, and how did that feel that moment in this Man. game the the music the music game how did like knowing nah, that don't, it's, it's, it's amazing that's historical what the fuck yeah. you mean I can tell you how I feel <laughs> yeah no no we just like getting my money right whoa, whoa. <laughs> shit yeah. Yeah. so I Hell see yeah. I, I seen people trying to make no, something no, no. like negative out of it but like nah it was all positive it was a really really good thing and yeah. um you know like I said man you um. A lot of people say, say they're your brother, but like you know, for him to show you, show me that we are brothers, that was do major. something like that. That was that was major. I appreciate him for that. And for he, sure. gave, he gave you all your shit back, everything. That's what what I'm that's, see, that's what I'm talking about. What? Yeah, that's what the fuck you supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Was, like, was, like you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Here you go, brother. Hey, make sure you good now. You know what I mean? Like. It's still motherfuckers out here still. Yeah. 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 They can sit at home waiting for that call. Come on, man. Game of shit. I'm going to make that happen for you one day because you know baby gave me your mask. Them bitches ain't here tonight. <laughs> he gave me your joints. You know that's my man. He gave me them joints. Hey, wow. Signed this shit. I ain't put it out there on Instagram yet. But I got your joints. I'm just waiting for you to act right with me. bitches ain't worth nothing sell them. I mean, if you get a good month right without talking shit to me, I got you. I'm going to bless you with you. I'm going to give you half your mask. I don't even want them bitches. I mean, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> fuck out now, 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 when it comes to, when it comes to, you know, you. You come in and you become a, you know, you go from Pusha T, the grinder, the MC, to an entrepreneur. Yeah. You get into fashion. Yeah. You're doing big time deals. You do the deals. How, how do you transition to, I mean, first of all, you just got to be fly. We got to establish that. But how do you transition from that to making these monster business deals on the fashion side? How do you, how do you? Because I'm always seeing you at all the shows. You're always in Paris. You're always on the runways. You're there. They want you there. Yeah, you know, you know, I sort of got, um, I sort of got grandfathered into the whole streetwear fashion thing years ago with um, Bathing Ape and mm -hmm. Nego, mm -hmm. and that turned into BBC. Mm -hmm. Even, even, you know, the whole, you know, us being in Cream right yes. now, like this really started from like being able to. Um, you know, having that inside track on streetwear, Japanese streetwear at the mm -hmm. time. And then um, actually Pharrell had a store in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And what happened was um, they had a store or whatever, shit didn't work out. And Brock, my man, he was like, he was out there really hustling. And, and he really has an eye for like fashion as well. Mm -hmm. And he would like buy all the, you know, whatever was hot, whatever, and be selling it, you know, to everybody. And, you know, fashion can be sort of snobby in regard to, like, they don't, they don't just give out certain accounts to certain people. Mm -hmm. I was in a position where I could be like, yo, um, you know, I think, yo, BBC, listen, if y'all having some headaches with who y'all dealing with, I'm telling you, my man is the one who yeah. got, like, you know what I'm saying? He got it moving and shaking. Mm -hmm. You know, he should have the account. That turned into, like, you know, us finding the BAPE account, mm -hmm. you know, and, and getting it for the store. Mm -hmm. And so on and so forth, going to Vegas and, and, and sitting in on some of those meetings. And it's, and it's kind of a frustrating thing because, you know, your money be right, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But then, you know, a, a, a particular brand will be like, nah, we ain't ready to, like, open your store yet. You know, nah, we, you know. Be cool. Yeah, be cool. Wait a minute. Chill. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, we took a, a number of those trips. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, you kick down a couple doors. Um, my profile was rising a little bit, so I think that that helped. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, this is, um, shit, this is the third store. 2006 mm -hmm. was the first store. Nine In June, the second store will be nine years old. This one is three years old. Mm -hmm. It's major. 